Okay, welcome back guys. So in today's question, we have this concrete block and at this wedge that we can see in the question, we know that the coefficient of static friction for wedge surfaces is 0.4 and the static friction between the 27 kilogram concrete block and the incline, which we know is making 20 degrees with the horizontal is 0.7. So we need to determine the minimum value of the force P in order to start moving the block up the incline. We can neglect the weight of the wedge. Uh, so as always, we're going to start with the free body diagram and see what we have in the wedge. So from the question, we know ultimately the direction that wedge is moving will be in this that I'm showing in blue. And obviously for that, we have to have all the friction in the opposite direction let's start with the all the forces that we have i'm gonna show it in uh, red so let's start from very left of the figure which is the contact surface uh, wedge with the wall let's call this one the normal force that we have we'll call it entry and this would be our friction which is in the opposite direction and if we call it f3 will be a uh, static coefficient times entry and we know from the question that coefficient were for wedge would be 0.4 and therefore the friction will be 0.4 times n3 and uh, we also have the force p applying in this uh in the opposite direction of y which we are showing our x and y in blue in this question and that would be again since we have the same coefficient it will be 0.4 times n2 uh, that's pretty much all the forces that we have let's move on to the free body diagram of the block so based on the third law of newton we will have the same normal force in here too and since the in the positive direction of y will have the opposite direction in here so it will be to the opposite direction of uh, friction in the wedge from the question we know also that the mass of the concrete block is 27 so for finding weight we will have mass times uh, acceleration of gravity for and uh, for finding the weight we have simply m times g and there is one more force uh, actually two left and that would be the normal force that we have in let's call this n1 and we know that ultimately if the concrete block is going to move up the incline and for opposing force which is the friction we will have uh, something in the opposite direction as we can see and this time we have a different uh, coefficient from the question we know that the block and the incline have different coefficient friction and that would be 0.7 and the friction will be 0.7 times n1 uh, that's pretty much all the forces that we have and we just need to move on to our fx fy uh we can start with the block first so you're still in the equilibrium you're about to move the block up the incline but in order to start the moving we we have to pass that equilibrium moment that we have so that's why we are using all the equilibrium equations and for that let's start with our fx for the block and looking at the block we have n2 in the positive direction and we have uh, the friction which was 0.7 times n1 and we also have the x component of the weight and we know this angle is 20 degrees by the way there is a video in the channel i'm going to put it in the description and it's about a trick that we can find different angles we're going to x component we will have uh mass times g times sine of 20 degrees and i'll see what we have for fy uh fy we have n1 uh, which is positive we have uh, the friction which is 0.4 times n2 and this time we will have cosine of 20 degrees the y component of the weight uh, that's pretty much what we have for the log let's move on to our equations for which so what we have for which let's go with the fx first and in the previous part uh, we have all of these equal zero since we are in the equilibrium uh, condition so for the fx in here we will have if we look at n3 uh, we need to find the x component of n3 also we know these two angles are five degrees i'm gonna put the link in the description for uh, a trick that we can use to find these angles very easy so looking at this we'll see that uh, n3 cosine of five degrees will be the cosine component will be the x component and looking at that we have n2 in a negative direction and we also have the x component of the friction 
which was 0.4 times n3 and looking at that will be this sine of 5 degrees uh, would be the x component looking at y component let's see what we have so we have 0.4 n2 which is positive we have uh, the force p which is negative and we will have uh, the y component of n3 which this time will be sine of 5 degrees and we'll have the y component of the friction which this time is cosine of 5 degrees equals 0 and that's pretty much all we have so if we look at the well, let's call this equation so uh, three four uh, let's call the first two one and two so from one if we look at the first one we can find n2 based on n1 and it will be mg times sine of 20 degrees we know the mass is 27 uh, kilogram uh, we also know g is 9.81 meter per square second and from here if we plug this in in the second equation that we have we'll have n1 minus 0.4 n2 which we can uh pretty much put whatever we have in here in this and minus mg cosine of 20 degrees equals zero the second equation only have one unknown as n1 and if we calculate that we'll get 396 newton on by putting this n1 in the first equation we can find n2 and that would give us uh, 368 newton and now that we have uh n2 and n3 uh we are good to go to move on our third equations and if we look at the third equation i'm going to show it in red uh the only unknown in third equations is uh n3 and we already have n2 we know n2 equals to and three cosine of five minus 0.4 and three sine of five degrees and we can have n2 equals to n3 cosine of five degrees minus 0.4 times sine of five degrees and we know this equals to 368 and we can find n3 in this equation which will be 383 newton there is one equation left and one unknown which is our p and looking at the third equation the only unknown that we have is p and we simply know p equals to uh, 0.4 n2 plus plus n3 sine of 5 degrees plus 0.4 n3 cosine of and from here we just need to plug in n2 that we found in here and n3 in here and the last equation and we'll get p 333 newton and that would be uh the final answer for this question